Good evening, everyone. It's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first visit here, I'm so glad you stopped. I can't wait to share with you what I'm working on tonight. Repeat planner friends, I cannot thank you enough for sticking by me the last few weeks. It has been a tough few weeks for me personally. I was recently in a car accident, which put me behind again. So today we're working in my journal portion of my Franken planner. I'm gonna fix the camera here. Hopefully I don't make you quite too nauseous. Um, the journal portion, I do like a faux waterfall, which allows me to use a lot of my washi tape that I'm excited to be using. Um, the stickers are old flower stickers from um, Happy Planner. The date is Mojo. The day is um, Calva Plan. That's Mojo. So it's kind of got a lot of bits and pieces. Okay, so I've already kind of started covering the thing. Um, oh, I need to cover this, don't I? Okay. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. Okay, if you're new here, my theme for, or my one little word for 2024 was use it, or is use it. So I'm using all the stuff I have that I know I'm never going to use and making it work for me this year. So this is a lined vertical planner and I'm making it a daily journal. So that's, that's some of the things you need to understand. Then I'm going to be um, making this a faux waterfall so because I want to make sure my colors look good I want to put this on here and I think I really like this dark green I hope I have enough I don't know if I want to start with the dark green though maybe we want to start with the the coral yeah I think we'll start with the coral Okay, and then from there I can go on. When I'm finished with um, the journal page that I'm gonna do with you. Now I don't do all seven pages. We'd be here for hours and nobody has time for that. So I'm just doing one page with you and then I will share, you, share with you all seven days of just the journal. So you can kind of see how it all goes together. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the dark green and I really, really like, oh, and I am at the end. So hopefully we get it on here. There we go. And that gets rid of one of my washi rolls. Yay! And uh, then I think what I wanna do is this flower on here is very close to the flower I'm using. So kind of thinking I'm gonna put it on here. One of the things I realized that I really, really need to stock up on is the really skinny washi. Now I have some from Planners Anonymous. When you buy their, or when you subscribe to their kits, you get, or you used to get, three rolls of washi in three different sizes. And the little one I always thought was just kind of a waste, but it doesn't um, really allow me to, uh, it's kind of specific to the kit. You really can't use it for something else. So I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if I need to really put another one on there. Um, I think we're gonna call that good. Okay, so now all we have to do is put our other stuff on here and we are done. I may go back through because I don't wanna have any of these flowers left over and just check and see what I have where I can add a few more flowers to it so it can be done. Um, so my today's win, I'm going to stick here 
because I didn't cover the box all the way down on purpose. I used what I have. I had a piece that was the right width, just not the right length. So with the washi and my today's win, I'm good to go. So now I have to decide if I want to wipe this out, put flowers over it, put the day of the week and the date up there. I used some really big, um, uh, I'm going to call them date, date covers, right? Um, which I kind of like. Uh, they they work really good for this application. They don't really work well for like a, a typical, they're too wide for a vertical spread. Um, so I think we're going to do that and then I'm going to put the number which is on paper right next door. I'm trying to hide that white out there a little bit. And then we're going to put the weather box on and I think I'm going to have it it can't overlap because this is just a frame it's not an actual box is it a box? I thought it was a, a frame it might be both yes okay so in that case maybe just maybe we'll have it overlap a little bit I don't like it that high, so I think we're going to overlap it right here. Put the, I thought it was not, um, you know, it's kind of big. Let's see if we can lift it. I don't know if it's a frame, how well it's going to do with sticker surgery. And then I'm going to have a problem because this is finding a, this color was really hard. If you hear all that noise going by, please ignore it. My office is kind of in a basement garage and I get a lot of road noise and I don't have any way of filtering that out. Okay, so now that's a little bit shorter. We can put this back on and there we go. It's not the greatest, but we're going to take it because when I get the weather box in there, I think it'll be fine. Okay, I still have to hide this, but I think that's going to happen with the flower. And then instead of having word boxes, we're just going to have dots. And I think, I think, I think I'm going to put it like this here oh no gotta trade places like this oh uh, you know what let's put some flowers on here and then we'll decide what to do I don't really like this here the Sunday doesn't bother me the nine does okay so now let's just wipe this out that way we are good no matter what we put over there. I'm thinking, let's do this one. Kind of like this. Kind of to t distract from the whiteout that's up there. And you know what? I think, I wonder if I can lift that. Even though it has whiteout, I hate that. That's why I really like the white pen. When you have a big area, oh, can't lift it. That's going to be it. Um, when you have a big area to cover, it's really hard to do that with the pen. It's, I think, I'm going to try and see if I can get this all the way down. I can put a little stem or something there. And then let's put this one here. I know it's going to be over the punch. Which that's okay because I gotta have room to write, but I um, I want to use the flowers and I want to get a few more on this page, so we're gonna be able to just about make it 
with doing that little hack we're going to put one more here maybe just like this i won't cut it perfect we need a little something there um so let's try this one i've got three the same um kind of flower so i'm thinking maybe we'll just cut this like this and count we'll flip it so that the squared edge is there and that fills that hole i love it and i don't really think we need any more stickers on this page except for the two dots and so i think they're going to go up here i'm going to put one dot here and one dot here one is did i do any extra exercise for the day and the other one is my word for the day so that black line was really really bugging me still kind of is but I think that's better okay so I don't think I need to put anything else on this page that gives me plenty of room for journaling okay so now I'd like to show you the waterfall uh, daily journal so we'll start oops we'll start here on the first page okay then we flip the cut section to over here and then one more flip to this week these two days and then the last one here I really enjoying this daily journal setup if you like this video, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe. And don't forget to say hi so that I can say hi back to you. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.